I am Dr. Vervilis. I'm a vascular surgeon at Prisma Health Heart Hospital. TCAR has been clinically proven as a less invasive alternative to carotid anorectomy, a traditional open surgery performed to treat carotid artery disease. A small incision is made at the base of the neck just above the collarbone. A puncture is made into the carotid artery and a small tube is placed inside the artery which is connected to the system that temporarily directs blood flow away from the brain and captures any dangerous debris that dislodges from the artery. The blood is then filtered and returned to a vein through a second tube placed in the groin. While the brain is being protected during this temporary flow reversal, a stand is placed in the carotid artery to stabilize the plaque and is intended to help prevent against future stroke. The blood flow is then returned to normal and the system is being removed. The entire procedure usually takes less than an hour. Patients can be either asleep or awake during the TCAR procedure and patients are typically held overnight for observation. Diverting blood away from the brain is rarely a problem because the brain has multiple arteries that supply with blood. In addition, the critical part of the procedure when the blood flow is reversed only lasts about 10 minutes. TCAR has a very low procedural stroke rate. It is also less invasive than open surgery, so there's less chance for surgical complications like heart attacks, infection, and nerve injury. TCAR patients also recover quickly and almost always go home the next day with less pain and smaller scars. Over 10,000 TCAR procedures have been performed worldwide through clinical trial and commercial use. TCAR has been studied extensively and the clinical data have been excellent. In fact, the data are so compelling that the Society of Vascular Surgery, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, and the U.S. Food and Drug Administration came together in September 2016 to create a program to support its reimbursement. TCAR is recommended for patients who are considered high risk for traditional surgery due to age, anatomic issues, and other medical conditions. A physician will determine if the TCAR procedure is right for a patient on a case-by-case -case basis based on his or her medical history and workup.